All right, guys, it's time to start over and how to start as a new player and the first thing to do after the tutorial. So here it is, guys. We're going to show you how it gets started because the game is going to be released in about two weeks or so. Hopefully it'll release. So you're going to end up after you create your character, you're going to end up on this beach here. And we're going to run through it real quick because I'm going to show you what to do if your friend is not in the same town. So what you want to do is go over here. We're just going to run through this real quick. And this monkey came out here. You press X, of course, and block him, and then decapitate. And it's just you got to get through this. The shift dodge. What you got to do is you got to get through this so that you can get out into the world and see what's up. And here he is, a captain. You. Just hit E. Keep spamming E. Get through that, and he turns into a pile of rust buckets. So we're here on the, let's see, take all the items and tab in the inventory, get the shield there, get the munchie and the server I'm going to try to start on, press three for that, is a Celadon server here. Because one thing I've realized with this game is it's very important to get on a low population server and that is because if you get on a high population server, there is something called a queue. And if you get caught in the queue, well, guess what? You're, every time you crash or get lagged out, then the game is going to take 30 minutes or so to get back in. I was on the El Dorado server and that had happened. So always try to get a lower uh, lag server, lower population. Let's kill this guy. And you can block. And it's easy. The first part of the game is super easy. And just like that, and chop them to bits. Hit W plus spacebar, let's go. And it only takes a few moments to do this part here. I'm going to show you how to start up, what you're going to put your points into. Like that. Okay, so you got this here. Press the letter K, sword and shield. When you start out, you can put it in anything. You can put it in whirling blade. This is going to hit... Uh, all the foes but in the beginning you want to put it in this like this and Q key will be your shield here and what this does is it rushes you uh, forward and it deals 125 percent of your weapon damage so we're gonna run up there and remember the Q key is the one you want to take this one because you're not gonna be fighting more than one hit the equal sign to go on auto run this is very important you'll need that later on and in this guide, I'm just going to show you the basic things to do, how to get started real quick, because you want to get out there into the real world and take all the questions and mystery you have about this game. And uh, there we go. It's a new world. That's right. It is new. A good thing that volcano is not blowing up in our face. And here we go. And we got to go down here. We got to chop some guy up here. There are a couple quests that you want to do in the beginning that are very easy to do. Um, and here, and pretty much you can't die in oh, in this part here. You're going to fight this guy. You remember him? He was on the beach. Somehow he got back here. This is very easy. Just follow the directions. And you just have to hit him a few times, that's all. Nothing big to worry And did block him. A few more hits on. And that's all it takes. Throw in a block here and there. He'll leave. At, after this fight, you're going to be able to go out to the beach and see where you are. Good thing we got that wooden shield. Okay, here we go. So this game's got a lot of good stuff about it. Good graphics. Very good crafting and a lot of builds you can do but the paladin build is probably one of the best or it was the best and hatchet was probably the strongest dps and we're going to see what we get what weapons we get look at these the scenery this is uh one of the places okay so now that you're here press m and unfortunately we're all the way in first light our friend zorgo is up there in windsward 
And this is bad because you want to be in the same thing here. So being here is not good. Yeah, uh, otherwise you're not going to be able to really meet up for 20 levels or you're going to have to do a lot of running around the map to meet yep. up with each other. And see how lonely I am on this beach, how there's no friends here. There's one one victim out there that's Average Ho. And uh, so it's just me and Average Ho and this other guy. So what I'm going to do is go back to the game menu, exit to the main menu. Uh, okay. And we're going to exit Hey, out. cats, let me break in. Um, yep. Your voice is modulating, at least on Discord. Yeah, it's with the lag of the right. game. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so once out of the game, it's all good. Let's get Dr. Nachos out. Oh, wrong one. And it only takes a few moments to do... Well, I thought I deleted him. What's up with that? Huh? It t it may take a minute or two. Oh my. Okay. Did yours uh, delete? It did eventually. Oh my. Whoa. Well, maybe I can delete Dr. Nachos. Oh, good. It, it deleted. Okay, bye-bye, Dr. Nachos. That actually, Dr. Nachos was a good character because he had got a treasure chest from fishing. So create this new character. We're going to be back on Celadon, a low uh, population server. But look at the population building up here. Back to the Celadon. And we're going to try to get in one more time. And back with this. Hold left mouse button to skip it. And oh gosh, I'll just take whatever. It doesn't matter. And now I can get Dr. Nachos. Yeah, we'll keep our appearance. They won't even let me shave. So let's try it again, guys. Here we go. And there's a captain. That's part of the story, our mechanical captain. And here we go again. Let's see. We should get Windward. It's about a one in five chance. So we should get it after the fifth try. I hope I'm not here all night trying it. Nice black screen to look at. Hope you guys enjoyed that black screen. Yeah, this game's got a little lag when it's loading up. So you guys have seen this before. Same tutorial, different guy. And here comes our monkey. So how are you going to build this character? What are, what are you going to go for when the game goes live? Uh, I'm going to go for Hatchet for sure. It seemed like it seemed like Hatchet was working pretty good. Uh, in the other day, it was working about as intended. Same things were there. And I want to. I think everybody needs a life staff, even if they nerf the life staff, just because some of the missions we did require. Um, they require some kind of healing and without the healing is pretty much no way to, to do some of those, uh, encounters. So I'm going to go, yeah, I think it's going to be hatchet. Great ax was okay. Warhammer was okay. But I remember our, um, hatchet guys were at the top of the DPS line. And then, you know, you're, you got your healing staff. So you put everything Ooh. into dexterity. How were you able to monitor the DPS, or did, was it just obvious? It, it's pretty obvious. Like you can tell by how much you're hitting by. 
in comparison, like I was going life staff and it was doing small damage. There's two things in life staff you could get. Let's see. No, I can't get it yet. There you go, got him. And you could kind of tell um, we had uh, Genjo playing. What is he doing? He was doing a hatchet, and he was always getting all the aggro because he had so much DPS. I played a rapier. I really liked it, but I didn't really play enough of the beta to know how it ended up. Yeah, rapier is okay. Finlana had a rapier. It was not bad, but... I think the other ones have AOE capabilities. And just like that. I had an I thought I had an AOE on that rapier. Hmm. Really? I oh, they pr you probably did. <laughs> and guys, once again, same things. Click these things and it's going to ask for this. This just only takes a few moments to go through each one. And run all the way up to the top. And welcome board everybody. But yeah, um that's what it was. I the, the life staff was super, super OP'd. You could go life staff actually if you just did that and whatever, and you could practically keep yourself alive and solo all the stuff. But when it came to those missions, um the one we did, the first dungeon, that one you need to have some DPS. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely get any kind of life staff. Some of them you can get with mods on them, which are really nice, where they like bless ground or whatever it was. It had a mod for that, which is cool. And uh, get that, and then get something with ha that mods hatchets abilities. Here we go back to this guy again. I sure hope he doesn't put me in the same starting zone. That'll mean I'm cursed. Yeah, he's gonna throw up again. No. And like that, you get good practice. So one good thing about this, you can practice on this yo-yo here. He just keeps puking on me. Okay, this is a different screen. I was really hoping that we would log into this beta and they would have allowed you to choose the city. I know. After you killed that guy. That's one of my big gripes about the game is they don't let you. This one looks like Everfall, that this picture. Let me see what we got, guys. Yeah, they should let you pick where you want to start. They really should not like this random start everywhere, be a solo man. Oh, what do we have here? Yeah. What the heck? Where am I? What? You know what? It's setting me up in first light again. How can that be? Hmm. So I wonder if it's got you thing. pegged from your IP or something like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, why wouldn't they want friends to play together for the first 20 levels? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I'm way out in the nowhere. Land. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think the fisherman guy is kind of close to your guy, too, but... Ah, oh, man, I got to get all the way over there. This is going to be rough. You know what? I should try it again. And if at that point, let's do that. If if it does the same thing, then we know that it's based on your IP address. But if it doesn't, like I'm going to make a new name. Or do you want me to delete my character and see if I get popped into your place? No, let me try here. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dr. Notch, there's only one allowed on Celadon. Yeah, so you'll have to delete the other character. Okay, deleting Dr. Nachos. Okay, it's just going to wait a few moments. Just take a moment here, yep. Medium, 30 seconds. Players in queue. Oh, you said last stand? Is uh, that where you ended up? No, it was the one all the way in the lower right-hand side of the map. It was like, uh, kind of okay. like the Florida of here. Oh. I think it's 30 seconds. And Windward's the one Put a mask on if you're down in Florida. Yeah, that's right. 
Come on, view worlds. Come on, refreshy. Ah, still got good old Nacho stuck on there. There's a thing on the map that says upcoming invasion. Yeah, they have some invasions coming on. Okay, I'm going to try Celadon one more time. Come on, Celadon. If I don't get to change it, I'll just start here and... Hmm, a different guy now. I'm going to change the name. I'll call him Dr. Fauci. Oh, yeah, maybe it's pulling up the same I&I and, I and popping yep. you in. Yeah, I think that's it. This guy doesn't look anything like Anthony Fauci, but we'll try it. Oh, come on. Let's skip this. It's like a nightmare. Different guy, same scene. What's your character name? Uh, Fauci, F-A-U-C-H-I. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's see if I get in what happens here. Good thing this tutorial, the first part, isn't too long. So, guys out there, this is the first thing. There's a queue there. Okay, one minute. Wow, lots of cues. Can you imagine on release day the cues are just going to be out of this world? We really got to make sure we're on the same server. I'm going to have to teach my wife who works from home how to log in and start me up on the queue and check it every once in a while. There you go. What is the 28th? Is that a weekday? Probably a Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Good old Tuesday. There we go. Just follow the prompts. Wish I could skip these guys here. Yeah, let's just run right past him. Yep, so you can run right past these guys if you choose to do so. This is a faster way to do it. Oh, he's coming. Let's hope usually in this game they give up after a while. I'm just going to train him over to the boss. This is funny. And here we go, guys. For the third time, let's hope it puts us in a new world. Otherwise, it's all set by your IP. And may not be able to do that. Good, he's not following us. Oh, I didn't get my skills up. <laughs> That's funny. You have to fight this guy without my shield skill. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you would have been better off dying at sea. 
There you go. Two swings and a block. And he's going to throw up on me. Okay, we're coming out. Let's hope for windward. Come on. Well, this looks different. Ah. And I am oh. now in Windward, yes. All right, Zorgo. Oh. Cool. I thought I was going to see you pop in here. Yes, let's see. Let's get uh, you added. What's the name of your character? Zorgo. Okay, searching for you. Let me go ahead and invite you to the group. All right, Zorgo's in the group. He is a level one. Cool. See, oh, there he is. You're right over there. All right, let's team up. Let's go kick some. You know what? So there you go, guys. It's totally random. It's not. Well, it could be on the name. I created a new name here. And um, yeah, that could have helped. Let's go talk to this dude here. Well, you don't look nice Just keep spamming the E key. You get the duelist boots for getting reward. And just keep spamming the E there. And you have to defeat these drowned guys. And they're. you can check your map. They're right over here. I'll wait for Zorgo. All right, Joshua Reed's level eight. What server are you on, Josh? We had to change because El Dorado was, oh, it was way too crowded. Let's press letter K. Now, I'm going to put the first things you want to do in this game. Where do you put your stats? A lot of people ask. You could put it in dexterity or whatever. What you want to do is this. If you're a caster, you put it into uh, intelligence. If you're a fire caster or a healer, put it into focus. But I found that... It, you don't have to put too much in focus really because you don't need to have massive healing yet uh, what are better choices are dexterity I would say um, they really help a lot for any of these skills see hatchet also uses strength and dexterity it can scale with it so what I'd suggest is put it in dexterity increases your chance to, um, to hit and all that which is very very important or constitution will give you more hit points which is also very very valuable but you're going to get a healing staff as soon as you get that and you can heal that up no problem at all so you don't need that many hit points early on the game is very easy so pump two into dexterity and then what you can do is you can go to weapon mastery hopefully we'll get a hatchet soon because i want to go hatchet and life staff life staff everybody should have one life staff because you're going to need the heals and then you've got your choice of i think great axle is good and hatchet is good these other ones are kind of debatable here all right, let's go kill some dudes. Oh, there he comes. Okay. And there's Flint over there and everything. Uh, it's down here. Let's Sorry, I was following your instructions. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so it's here. Okay, so we can check the map here. And you can do is scroll in on the map. And you can see it's on this little island. So let's go over to the island. And Joshua Reed is on Oceania. Here's a victim. Let's go whack him. If you're in a group, whoa. there you go. You got credit for it, Zorgo? Yep. Okay, cool. So one good thing about being in a group is you can uh, work together. Now, here's a chest over here. Come supply crate. Make sure you get it. Press E. You're going to need this for sure. And get uh, one swing on the guy. See, like that? Just one swing is all it takes, and you get credit. Everybody take a whack at him. Okay, good. We all got credit. Now you have to go back. So we'll go back to the dude. And that's all it takes. Just do that real quick. And this guy's Yao Hat. Fox. Friar. F-U-C-K boy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's right, Joshua. It's open till Saturday. And supposedly it's going to be the releases at the end of the month. Just keep hitting spamming E. Yeah, it takes about 24 hours before they send you the email, though. So do it now. Or you will regret it. That's right. Do it now. So then you get this stuff. What you should do with this stuff is hold S and left click, salvage. Hit E to confirm, salvage all this junk here. 
uh, where you don't have to carry stuff around. And we get C, uh, press K. Looks like we can purchase more points. Once again, put them in dexterity. And you should have some weapons uh, upgrades coming. This will come first, but you don't necessarily have to spend the money in that. So I would suggest not doing it. Gather flint. Let's go, Zorgo. We're going to find some nice little rocks. Like here's one rock here. This is one flint. There's some over here, Zorgo. I'll save one rock for you. Oh, I've actually gathered a, a bunch of flint while I was waiting for you to get to this city. <laughs> okay, you got flint? Okay, I got to go look for some happy little bushes. Where are your bushes? Yeah, my quest right now says craft flint skinning knife. Hola. Hello. We're on a new server. Okay, this is Read Red Skies. This is experience 50 XP. Welcome board Brown Stucky. And Nino, we started on the Celadon server because we don't want to wait half hour and for the lag. All right. So, yeah, start on Celadon and try to keep restarting the tutorial until you end up in Windward because it's important that you have the uh, same city. Oh, can you? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Yeah, I kept. You have to delete your character, it takes about a minute. But then after you do that, uh, start over. I got to make a campfire, I mean, a knife. And I did it, it took me three times, so I got windward. Okay, you're gonna craft here a skinning knife. Notice, guys, how it's yellow here. Hold that, and you wanna just craft one. It'll give you skill. It's good to keep crafting. Set as active tool, and press tab, and you can see here the happy little skinning knife is there. Talk to this guy again. Just spam your E key and get through him. And then you can open your journal by hitting J, and this tells you what it does. The reason why you want to pin this is so it always shows up. And this is your main story right here. Now we got to kill a boar. Okay, Zorgo, let's go get a boar. Bacon. Yeah. Hey, I missed bacon. how you equip that skinning knife. Can okay. Go over that again. Press tab, and you'll see it in your inventory. And drag it down to uh, one of the, the, the things like that has a fishing pole, logging axe. Oh, I, okay, I see. Yeah. Or you can double left click, it'll equip it. That's right. Oh, this guy needs to die. Huh, let's get some bacon. Bacon. And then uh, go ahead and I'll skin him. And then you got to get a uh, skin of boar and collect some pork. Because we're going to make sausages, guys. Nice, tasty sausages. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna make Jimmy Dean sausages. But yeah, kill everything you can. Okay, I made the pork. Now I gotta go cook, but I'll help Zorgo find another oink oink. Yeah, where are they? Yeah, they should respawn right. Oh, here's one over here this way, southwest. I was right up on the hillside here. I'll help you beat him up. And you can get more of this stuff because it's always nice. You can make rations out of it. It's much better when you have a friend helping you. Go ahead, you skin it. So whoever skins it first wins it. So the, like the saying goes, skin it to win it. And there's a whole bunch down there. You're going to have to make a ration later. So I always just kill the next one. And you might as well kill more of these. You know, also you can get food off them and the skins you can use later. So always chew up a couple more of these. As you can see, I said all oh, my Oh, there's graphics. a ton of them over here. Oh, like bodies? No, boars. Okay, you got some. Oh, yeah, I just picked up one more. Okay, you're over there. Sometimes you'll see people leave the bodies around. And when that happens, you can um, just go ahead and happy loot them. And I pick up flint, whatever you want to keep uh, keep farming. You can see the, the corpse over here is a free corpse. It's right here. And these guys are, see, just, just find a corpse and you can skin it. Oh, I got this one. So if somebody else is working on it, you'll have to get a different one. Yeah, and Joshua Reed already have it, by the way, because I played in the closed beta. So I already did the purchase back then. So I'm all ready to go. You will notice over here, guys, see this thing? Always read these. These are like free experience. And you just do that, you got 50 experience. 
And if Zorgo needs any more corpses, look at all these free corpses over here. So if you want free corpses and you want free uh, pig parts and, and you like sausage, this is where you come and just keep skinning them. Because you're going to do a lot of trade skilling in here. One of the fun things about this game is the trade skilling. Uh, and I usually don't do that, but I, I like it in this game. Okay, yeah, so there's lots of corpses if you need anything. It's also a good to, way to get experience, too. We'll save some for El Nino. I'm ready to go back after you're done. So see, it says oh. cook a light ration. What's that guy's name? Smash Avocado? That's funny. We All may right. as well... Maybe we should actually just like kill boars for a little bit until El Nino catches up to us so that he's not a quest or two behind us. Okay, we'll kill a few. He's he's real fast at this. He'll catch up. Yeah, I'll catch up, guys. No worries. Get some bushes. This reminds me of medieval uh, dynasty. Same thing. Get a lot of stuff. Okay, I'll skin one more and then we're going to go and get it. Yeah, and Joshua Reed out there, are you thinking of getting it too? I think it's going to be very good. We noticed a lot of people, like EverQuest, was, uh, when they introduced the closed beta, about half of the people from EverQuest left to come play this. So that's a lot. So we got to go back to the camp. Always pick up rocks because you never know when you need a poop rock. And we're going to go back. Look at all the corpses everywhere. Somebody just went crazy on this. Ashley, you need help killing that? No. Okay, so you got to go to campfire. And just because somebody's wearing a dress doesn't mean that they're a woman. Sometimes people accidentally put the dress on. And you come on over to the campfire like this. And hit E to craft. And what we're going to do is we're going to craft a the thing. Remember, look for these things with the yellow diamond. Light ration. And I'm going to make a bunch of these here, like so. And look at how much experience I get. Ten experience for doing nothing. Exit station. Talk to dude. Yes, yes, uh, Ron. It's, like it's much better in EverQuest crafting. You're going to see how cool the crafting is. Of course, they got to work out some of the, the weird things. Like some <laughs> things are easier to craft than others. Talk to this guy and watch. We're going to get our first case. Got armor chest. Keep spamming E. Then you press tab and there's my first chest. Left click, double click. Cloth shirt and a dress. Now be careful. If you don't want to wear a dress, don't click on that one. So my cloth shirt, see the armor rating is higher. Double left click. And it's in. So now we have something new. Hit, hold down left S. Hold down S. Left click, press E. See how my weight is going down? You don't you want to get rid of those kind of things. At the same time, you'll see we get glowworm bait. This is gonna be important because we're gonna do fishing later, and I'll go over these things one at a time. So we got this here, and just follow things, open the J for journal. And then you gotta to go to shipwreck. And so this is fun to do when you have a partner. By yourself, it's okay. All this can be solo, but if you got somebody to share it with you, it's it's a lot of fun. Now, I want to point out something right behind this dude. There is a chest right here, a supply chest. Make sure you get that. And get this. So it gives you the health potion, which is really good. And come behind here, and there is a watcher's potion. You get free experience. Pick up all of those. Now, the next thing you want to do is press tab, and you want to enable your potion drag it left drag it into there and welcome board lee dunning good to have you back and then you can hit number four if you need a potion how nice no wait have... a minute yes. i don't see my where do you find your potion oh i got it out of the um the chest here but you may not get it it's all random but if you got one then you you know you just get it press k you got it's more, like in your inventory Okay. Yeah. yeah, you may not have got I, one. I thought I looted it, but I didn't get one. Oh. Yeah, it's all random. You might have got something like, you know, sausage or something. You never New know. iron cartridge. That you might have got. So here we go, guys. I'm just boosting dexterity. See how this is going? Boosting. 
And the Constitution may want to put a few points in here because here's our stats page right here. So it shows you how many um, our stats are, strength and all that. You can see the amount of hit points, 792, which is pretty good. But you put some in Constitution, you'll have even more, and it helps. Whenever you're ready, Zorga, we'll go over to the shipwreck. We'll go do some beat down. Ready. All right, let's go. I'll follow the compass. Nice thing about this compass, it's very easy to follow. And if you get lost, you can just hit the M for map. It's actually another island over to the right. You can also drive while on the map. Let's go this way. And we found this game is fun to play in a group. But in addition to that, uh, you can do a lot of stuff solo. So what's good about this is if all your friends aren't online, you can play this uh, by yourself and catch up. Let's go over here. Now basically with this, you got to kill whatever and get into the ship. So you get points for that. That's pretty good. I'm just going to kill him for the fun of it. Hoi! Because you can get weapon skills, skill ups when you do this. Okay, there's another dude here. Let's go over here. One of the items you see is right here. Okay, that's one of them. You can check on the map. There is another. Where's the other? If you're not sure, just zoom in like. Ah. There's actually. Hey, you leave Zorgo alone. Yes, see, you get skill ups, but I save the upgrades. Other one is right over here somewhere. It's right here, Zorgo. I'll go over and get it. And I got that one. There's some dude here. There's another chest here. Press E to loot it. And the guys respawn very fast. And I'm not sure what the gap is, uh, Lee Dunning. It's not too much. I mean, it's it's a lot, actually, I think. I, I forgot what... Maybe it's like 10 levels? I can't remember what we did last time. Okay, we'll go this way. Sweet, I got Winsward first try. Yes! All right, El Nino. Uh, your name is Sancho's, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me pick this up here. Here's the other one right here. And there we go, we're done. Now search the shipwreck for remnants, so we got to go onto the ship. After we do this one, we'll get El Nino in there. Because you... Oh, wait, you're already out. You go do the other ones, El Nino. We'll, we'll slow down. Yeah, no worries. I'll be there. We missed Bowshot and I, I think he's at work. Ah. Uh. Yeah, much easier. Here's another one right here. Make sure you read those for a free experience and tag each one of these guys just follow the menu follow the you know the map uh, compass oh it's that ship out there wow we got you going all over the place and occasionally you'll get a good weapon uh, hopefully Sometimes they'll drop items. Uh, let's see, it's up there. Uh, we got to get up there. Some oh, it's this way, Zorgo. Yep, we got to. Let's help this dude out. Okay, let's go up there. Help the June bug out. Uh huh. Here's our chest. That's a ship's locker. We got that. Here's another big happy chest. So, and we got a bad boy just spawned behind us. But we slice and dice. Okay. So now, let's see, where is the ship stuff? We are right on it. Huh. Maybe it's on the ground. What quest was that one? 
Uh, all that remains is one of the noob quests. Search shipwrecks like, for records. Yeah, it looks like there's a lower deck too. Yeah, it's probably it's showing right over here. Let me follow the map. Oh, it's right over here. Come to me. Oh, it's a supply chest. Let me get this first. Um, should be. Wait, did it move? Oh, it's actually. Oh, it's way back at the beginning. I got to go to another shipwreck. Is that crazy or what? All right, let's go this way. Let's just follow everybody. Nice thing about having a lot of people on the server is you just follow everybody around. There's a lot. I know. El Dorado is like this cute. Look at this guy. He's, whoa, he's taking them all. Here, we're here to help. We didn't want you to die. Oh, there it is, this ship here. If you go up there, you'll see. Here's another. I wonder if there's a chest here. I can't even hit the guy. Got him. There we go. There's. It's on this ship here. Here we go. We go like this, guys. You get on the ship, and there's go to the front. There's You got to jump here like this. There's a flag. And then you pick this flag up, and then there's a flag in the back. Okay, so I got that one. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna get the one on the bat of the back, but don't fall down the middle. Let's kill this. Guy. Thank you. And you go up here, jump, and climb to race. And collect that. Cool. And then we got to talk to guess what? You know who means we got a little bit of running because he is way over there. All right, Zorga, let's hop off the ship. And you do take falling damage now more than ever. Boy, I really do need to find an axe or something. Okay, we're getting those skill points of, uh, you can see here, you only get points in the sword and shield, so you might as well spend them. But let's get out of here. Yeah, and Lee Dung, you can actually heal with a staff. That's the best way to heal or use potions. I would say potions are very good, but um, flint arrows. But you want to get the healing staff. Everybody should be a paladin in this game. Okay, let's go back to dude there. And I want to get myself a hatchet. The friar boy over there. Huh? Okay, we got to just go through the water here. Make a beeline for it. And El Nino, how is the filming of Hawaii Five O going? <laughs> Not too bad. Really? Were you, I didn't did you get, get in it, though. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> if you scream real loud, they'll turn the camera over there. Make a whole scene. Yep. That's cool, though, they are filming that. Yeah, they film a lot around the neighborhood. Wow. They're, uh, that Porsche they have, yeah. uh, they bring it to us. Whoa. It's not one we can buy, right? Uh, maybe later. <laughs> yep. That is cool. So if you guys are low on health, just hit three and you'll start healing up. That's why it's good to get pork sausage because you can heal up a little bit at a time. Okay, let's talk to this guy once again complete the quest and i got a bow which you know i don't need and go ahead and do this here and once again two more into dexterity and there's your character here you have points let's see and you can still spend those there let's see and make sure you go to territory standings Click this and get the experience bonus right there. You'll get those every once in a while. Next spot is going to be 
Remnants of Doom. We had to go over there, but uh, before we do that, let's check out our stash here. Oh, I got a hatchet. Nice. So somewhere along the line, I got a hatchet. Hatchet's what you want to get because we want to work on hatchet skill. So change that out with that. You, When I get a, another weapon, like a staff, I'm going to put it in healing. How'd you get a hatchet? I don't know. It just showed up in my inventory. I guess I killed something and looted something, and there's a hatchet in there. But I'd suggest everybody run hatchet. Ooh, I have a life staff. Yeah, Ooh. okay. In the life staff, you can put it in the first spot. You can use it to shoot. And later on, you can skill up. It's really good to skill up the life staff early. Because then you get that one sacred ground. I'll show you guys. You go into life staff. And if you get the first points in the sacred ground, and another one I went for was beacon. I went beacon and sacred ground. And that's all I really need to heal. So you need like two points to get to sacred ground. Then it has an air of effect heal, which is really cool. So you're lucky with the life staff. I'm on uh, all that remains. Oh, you're catching up to us. You got to go around to those ships, right? Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll wait here back at the um, camp for you. So when you get that done, you come meet us at the camp. Meanwhile, we'll go around and um, we'll beat on, we'll play with the bushes and stuff and rocks. <laughs> and uh, we could beat on some things. Actually, this is a good time. Well, level five are kind of high, but Zorga, we could beat on those um, boars. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Stock up on rations. Yeah. So, El Nino, let us know when you get back to the camp. Oh, and there's some body okay. over here. Oh, here's a corpse. Okay, I'm going to skin this. And you get skill ups each time you skin the boar. So it, it's good. Um, Yeah, that's right, Lee Dunning. A lot of times the quest rewards aren't really of use. I just go ahead and um, throw them away or salvage them. Red skies at night, I read that. Oh, cool, life staff. Bring that skill up. You'll be our healer. Well, we'll all be our own healer. Where are the boars at? I think they're over here. There we go. This is boar country. Kill the boars. Look at that hatchet. You can see the difference. Go ahead, Zorg, if you need to skin it. Yep, I'm gonna chop them all up. Even at this rate, the the hatchet mastery is pretty good. And you can see hatchet is well it's taking a while. And if you get a better skinning knife, it'll do it faster. There you go. Yeah, shoot him to bits. There you go. Get that skill up. There's some bags here. Flint arrows in the bags. And more flint arrows. So if you have people into archery, you can give that to them. Yeah, lots of lots of boards. Is hatchet still like uh, high DPS? I think it is. I'm noticing. I'm using it now. It's pretty good. It's very fast. Like um, yeah, yeah. Some things don't change. You know what's funny? The other night we're on, and somebody said, "How come it feels like we went backwards?" And somebody <laughs> said, "What?" And they said, "Cause there's like bugs. Like remember, there's a guy stuck in the tent and in the forge." What happens is you got there was like NPCs stuck in the buildings and we, that was never happened before. Yeah, hatchet's still where it's at. Look at this. It just swings so fast. Yeah, and you can see your weight. There's a lot of weight you're carrying. But we can make a lot of good things out of this. And what you want to do is get this stuff. And go, when you go back to the town, 
and uh, there's something to read. I read it already. And uh, go ahead and increase your skill. There you go. Way to go. Another dead oink oink. This is like, if you like pigs, this is where to find them. Headed back to the camp. All right, we're going to head back to the camp and meet you there. You're fast, El Nino. Let me get Sanchez back in the group. I'm going to send you a group invite. Inviting Sanchez to group. Cool. Welcome aboard, Sanchez. What level are you? Thank you. Uh, Four. All right, that'll be good. I'm I'm a five year old. Cool. All right, I'm heading back to Camp Zorgo. So oh, now I'm five. All right, join the club. Oh, that's good. We're gonna come get you. I see you out there. Yeah, we'll have to kill bigger stuff, but with all of us together, it'll be fun because we can kill them so fast. Yeah. Yep, but when you're by yourself, you're going to, like, just grind away at them. All right, Sancho's. All right. Here we are. Do. Time to go to the the new place. Uh, let me check the map. New place is to the straight ahead. Okay, let's go this way here. All right, everybody. Yeah, go straight like this here. And I like the map. You can drive on the map like this. And you can see source of corruption, it says. Yeah, see the guys that are popping the the green air of effect? That's a healing thing. So if you see one of these, you go into it and you get healed from sacred ground. It's very nice. Let's kill this guy. Let's fix his wagon. Kill all these guys. And together we'll get a good hatchet too. So when you get that upgrade, go to hatchet. And the first thing you want to do is get berserk. And berserk is my Q. That's the thing that helps. Ooh, you got him, Sanchez. Nice. There we go. And source of corruption should be somewhere in here. Yeah, around this way. Oh, good. Oh, you're up there. Okay, follow Sancho's up there. Oh, it's just a bridge. She could drop down. Oh, okay. We follow you move for move. <laughs> <laughs> if your right foot moves to the right, we move to the right. Chest here. Oh, yeah. Looting the chest. Rootin' tootin' lootin'. Yes. Oh, we got two muskets in there. Not that I like muskets. We got two fire staffs. Oh, that's good. How about you, Sanchez? Uh, one fire staff and a spear. I'm gonna try the spear. Okay. Spear has good crowd control. Let's go for this here. Let's kill this guy. Now, with this one, I remember this. You gotta fight the guy in here. But I think we'll see if each person has to fight him or what. Just come through here. Oh, there's Saltpeter. Wow. I think we can... You might be able to loot that. Oh, it can't. You gotta have the tools. Alright, let's get him. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. I want a piece of him. Go gently on him. Don't kill him too <laughs> Okay, good. We got credit for it. Oh, cool. Oh, I got a life staff. Oh, there's a guy on the floor. Knuckle dragger. Oh, cool. I got a life staff. So here we go. Press tab. Put the life staff in the secondary panel here. Uh, Chest here. Hold on a second. Oh, cannot, cannot do it. Yeah, let's find the chest. 
Uh, it's over here. I couldn't get my life staff in there. It's weird. Okay, got a fire staff, got a musket. More loot than you know what Ooh, to do with. Yep, you got a hatchet and a musket. Yeah, and make sure you eat your meal if you need more juju. Oh, he's back again. Let's, let's mess with him again. Oh, okay, we better get out of here now. <laughs> that was fun. You can get good weapon skills. Okay, we go up this way, guys, I think. Uh, that way over there. Mm -hmm. I got a Warhammer. Oh, yeah, you going Warhammer or are you going to go Hatchet? I'll wait for you guys. Oh, you guys went the other way. Yeah, we're right by that uh, carapace thing. Okay, let me see. Oh, 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 I see. I see, yeah. Yeah, come on back. You got to come down to the beach. Got to go back to the dude. Let's see, there should be some stuff up here. Yeah, I got to go back to the camp. Meet you guys at the camp then. All right. Right behind you. Okay. You right there, Zorgo? Yeah, I'm good. The veil, like, uh, like I was running through the door and it respawned on me. So <laughs> little bit of a glitch there okay but eventually yeah i couldn't i couldn't move forward or backward i was stuck in the middle of it i'll wait for you here then okay so the next thing we would have to do after that is we got a truffle fever we got to go to truffles and then we got to go we'll get truffles on the way to the settlement but before you do that if you got anything like a life staff, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Wow, I got so many muskets, I don't know what to do with them. Defiled life staff, there's two of them. No, it's a fire staff. Nobody wants a fire staff. Oh, there we go. So now I got a life staff in my secondary, and I got a hatchet in my primary. Thing is, is you gotta raise your skill by pressing number two for life staff, and it's gonna take a while because it does so little damage. Oh, there um, he is. I already got my first skill up on it, so I've got the. I just unlocked the heal on it. Good. I think I'm gonna do that too. Because uh, you need at least two, you need to get, you want to get sacred ground. All right, Sancho's, we're all set. I guess we're going to head over and do some truffle collecting. I like here. You got truffles? Yeah, there's a quest that says collect some truffles. It's along the way. Let me see, what's the quest called? Truffle fever? Hmm. Don't have that one. Let me see here. How did I get that? That's weird. No worries. Yeah, it's probably nothing. I just got the watcher report. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Get the shrooms! Yeah, that's right. Let me kill this boar. Oh, there we go. I gotta get some skill ups on this so I can at least do some baby heals. You're just waiting for some turkeys, aren't you? Yes, I am. Turkey killer. <laughs> Three life magic. I got a long way to go. Okay, let's see. Where's my 
Here's the truffles here. Okay, so around here there's supposed to be some truffles. This is a quest person here. Hapless Howe. And let's see, equip the sickle from the herbalist. Okay, so she gave us a sickle. So you get in your tools, put it in here. And um, gather truffles. Oh, here's the truffles around here. You like this. Yes, like that. She'll give, when you talk to it, she'll give you a quest. <laughs> the other guy wants it too. And these are just whatever quests. You get a little extra XP, level 6 already. And there's another one right there. He didn't like me. I saw some hemp up there. Oh yeah, I always get that. Because that is gives you great harvesting skill ups. Let me finish this here. I got the truffles. And we got the truffles, so now I can go back and talk to Hapless Hal. And get some experience, wherever she is. Oh, she went back to town. I'll wait here for you guys. Yeah, anything to level that skill up. Oh, it's going to take a lot of kills to level it up. Okay, Zorgo here, and uh, we check the map. Sancho's down there. He's coming up here. Yeah, we're just uh, grabbing stuff. All right. There, okay, let's go up. Well, there's the truffle quest. Yeah, do you want to get it? We'll wait here. It only takes a moment. I'll do it real quick. Yeah, okay, we'll wait here. That's some big old truffles. Yeah, big stinky truffles. Here's some herbs. You collect herbs too. This gives you it's an alternate. There we go. Increase that harvesting. Man, life staff goes up so slow. Getting that life staff up. All right. Okay, silent shows. We're off. Let's says okay. Zor goes done with that. Okay, so let's go up. We go. I'm gonna head to the nearest town or wherever it is. Yep, it's right into town. That'll be good. And nice thing about the service, plenty of provisions. Crate. <coughs> oh, there's a crate. Ooh, let's get that. Never pass up a crate. Yep, always get these crates. Milk and bait. Oh, and there's a boar here. Get that life staff up. Okay, Sancho's up there. Let's go up.
There's our town. Let's see what we've got in there. Oh yeah. Now first thing you want to do when you get here is you want to go into the inn. Uh, let's see, where is it? Press the M for map. And it should be right Take over you, here. Right here? No? Yep. I got to do a turn in first. Let me go back and turn in. There's one guy in here. And uh, he's over here. Or she is, whatever. So come to me if you have the, the truffles quest. And you can turn in over here. Oh, look at ah. that stuff. Wow, I got a uh, heavy breastplate. And here's another chest and common hat. So, yeah, like this here. If you don't have anything, wear it. But, guys, you want to take a look at what you got. Like a breastplate here may have a lower gear score, but as a healer, what I found it's really good to go for heavy armor. So, it's best to replace this and go for the heavy armor and get into there. Because later on, you'll really need it. Especially if you're a healer. And we're going to go back to the, the next one. I'm going to go back to the inn. Where's the dude at? Okay, I'm going to hit the inn first. So I'll come over this way, guys. We need to bind over there. And you can go over here. There's some stuff. Hit the tannery. Um, and go ahead and craft like this. Rawhide. You'll get experience from doing it. And skill ups. We got 25 XP. So whenever you see a station like that, it's always good to do that. And this one here, you can... Uh, make things like a logging axe this will be good to do craft one logging axe and also good to see we've got the mining pick make one of these this is why you scrounge up stuff and you can see here how you've got these tools here this is a mining pick this is this part here the other things you have are the fishing pole and the staff, you don't have to worry about those. And I go ahead and get rid of these. You can salvage these. Oh, wow, this is 77 here. I'm going to replace that. And with that, so we can get rid of these. And that's what I do. And I get rid of all of those things. Uh, these other materials, you can keep them, or if you're going to do all your crafting in here, you can put them all in the locker. Locker is conveniently located over here. And this one we can put over to the side. Put all our materials there. Some material you will need later, but it's good to just toss them all in there. And then after that, cross the bridge. We're going to go over to the inn next, but you can come over here and make food. Remember, you get experience for everything. Light ration. Later on, you're going to need to make a travel ration. But these are good, too, or energizing one for more mana. And let's see, what does this take here? Raw foods primary. Raw foods primary. Oh, this one here. And look at still getting experience off doing these things here. Come to this. And no. This is Outfitter. And can make some wood here. No, I can't make anything at the Outfitter yet. Yeah, some of them you can't. Right. And make sure you get your territory upgrades. And you're going to upgrade here. So you got station fee, storage. So um, decreases the crafting fee. This is good. Yeah, you got to get some of the parts later on. So yeah, don't worry too much about that. If you get stone, you can make blocks. 
and this is a forge over here. So from now, what get I would the XP one. Yeah, I always get the XP. Next thing I would recommend, guys, is if you were at level six, come over to the trading post and go here because this is the one thing you're gonna find is if you look for weapons, for example, one-handed weapon and looking for a hatchet, you sometimes you can find like you see here, like Forsaken Hatchet, level 13. Um, you have some of them are 12. This is 7, so we're almost at 7. But look at this. It hits for 231. That score is 231. And just take a look at some of these here. Some people, even this hatchet is a level 3 hatchet. It's way better than what I have. And the cost is only like 75. And I have 248. And that, another thing you can do is what I always look for is look for magical weapons and then look for life staffs, life staves. This is good. You can sort by rarity like this. And there you go, like that. Now check this out. This one's 200, but look at what it does here. Refreshing Divine Embrace. Using Divine Embrace uh, reduces a cooldown, so that's okay because you're too focused and strength. Two-handed, of course. And um, this is another one, Fortifying Sacred Ground. Allies healed by Sacred Ground gain Fortifying, which is really good. This is a good one to get here. And this one here, yeah, either of these is good. Wow, look at this. Level 4, when you kill somebody, you gain 3.4 mana. And I like this one here, so this is really key to get. Whoops, messed up. Let's go back to this. And it's I found last time I did this, getting the life staff was very, very important. Look, it has dexterity two and focus. So this is really good. Even though it's level four. And since we're on beta, we don't mind, you're gonna buy it. And look at that. And bought it. Now you get this guy. Look at this guy here. Look at the difference. 209 versus 120. And people just sell their stuff in here because other people will buy it. And you can go ahead and look at 70 nature damage. Like so. And I do have a life staff. If anybody needs one, I can I don't I, I have a common life staff. And that's what you spend your first money on. Get that life staff and uh, it will be very very helpful once we get up here we'll get to there now i gotta go and i gotta hit up the inn i'm gonna go to the inn and i'm going to um bind over there and this is a guy here and guest registration set your recall point to here in your local town wherever that may be And yes, William Russell, it is going, it's on. So what you do, William Russell, is you don't go to the old beta, go to Steam and click on the, um, a thing there, there's a green button. And what it does is it uh, sends you an email, but the email takes about 24 hours to get there. So today's Friday, send it in and you'll be able to play tomorrow. It's worth it to see what's new. So you gotta do it through Steam. Yes, and William Russell, life staff is the bomb, but look at this, what I got. Even on the other, let me show you. Even on the other server I was playing on the other day, I I went for the uh, hatchet, but this one, look at what it does. Fortifying sacred ground. It's rare that you get something like with these uh, added bonuses early. So it'll uh, put fortifying on whoever that's in the sacred ground area. So this is at this level, it's huge. And yeah, I went life staff last time. Life staff and hatchet, that's all the way. I don't know how much they nerfed it, but we'll find out. So let's check the map. Everybody else is here. I see Zorgo shopping, and that's good. Next, I'm going to go to the top of the map and go turn in for the next quest. Make sure you guys bind it. I picked up all the town quests. Okay, that's smart too. Another, That's a good tip. And I'm going to go to the town quest. There's some lag, but nothing like El Dorado. We're on the El Dorado server, and oh my gosh, it crashed from the lag. So yeah, pick up these like town Like five quests. minutes, right? Yeah, as soon as I went to the middle, and then I started looking around, it went... 
It just blowed up. Look at this. It's sheep hunter night. Find three tadpoles. Three tadpoles is hard because you got to do fishing. But common regen potions. I wouldn't do this. Fish fillet. Oh boy. Killing the elk is hard. Look at this. Sheep, sheep, sheep. If we can find out where the sheep are. I got three sheep quests here. Oh, this is good. 20 fish oil. Okay, so if you like to fish, a very casual way to do this is get good experience and good money is to hit up these two fishing quests. And um, if you do these two fishing quests, you'll get a lot of these after a while. It takes a while by salvaging fish, but you can get 20 fish oils. And the fish fillets are easy to get too. You can also do Where exploration. are you picking this stuff up? Oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not sure what the town quests are. I'll show you. Okay, Some... come on over to me on the map. There's a town board here that used to be. This is really good. And welcome, William Russell. Uh, hope to see you in game. This is a great game, guys. The crafting is really good too. That's something I was surprised that I'd like. So you hit the board. See this board here? Yeah, just press E on it. Oh, I see. Yeah. No. I don't know where to find the sheep because if we had sheep, like one strategy for doing these quests is that you see how they have hunt eight. I have eight, 12 and 20 sheep. That would be really easy because you just kill 20 sheep and you get knock out three stones with one hit. But I don't know where the sheep are. I don't know either. <laughs> I've never seen them. You know, that's a weird thing about it. Tadpoles is from fishing. Fish fillet. She, I mean, fish fillet is from, um fishing which is easy <laughs> sorry about that and then fisher folk because it says fisher over fisher folk is also an oil that's easy so if you do fishing which eventually we're going to do fishing so i'll take these here go like this so you want to get it like that you don't want to hunt elk elk they run away fast and they're very hard to kill but with a group you can kill them now watch us go out and we find sheep wandering all over the place you can pick up as many as three or you can pick up four, and you can cancel them later. Okay, let's pick this up. And, uh, yeah, pick just up pick them all up, just in case. Yeah, pick up the explorers. The ones I don't pick up are make the regen potions, because I end up using those. Yeah, so pick them all up, except the regen one. Then go into the building. And visit the per person with the green arrow over their head. Now, there's also things you can read in here. And I think that gets you... Let me see, here it is. There, 61 experience. Read all these, even speed reader. Just go like that and get that free EXP. Just keep spamming that E key. Okay, there we go. And we have got that. And I got to get rid of this. Does El Nino need a life staff? Uh, no, I'm good. I'll let you guys do that. Okay, we'll do the dirty I'll just work. smash. Yeah, you smashy, we... We watch. Okay, so now the next thing to do, this should be a chest, but it isn't. Okay, he's a king of the table there. Territory planning board. Okay, I'm going to come back out here and make sure. I'll wait for you guys up here, Zorgo, so you can turn your turn-ins. Are you guys on inform the magistrate? I am realizing that I was way behind you. Okay, I'll wait um, for you. Yeah, I just got to run back and hit all like the trading posts and the storage shed and all that. Yep, I'll wait. You guys can go ahead if you want. And no, I can... yeah, it's only fast. It, it's more fun to play with your friends because then when we kill the stuff, uh, we kill it faster and we all get credit. So it's like Guild Wars, you just have to tag it and then bag it. Okay, you guys are down there. I'll wait over here. So it looks like Zorgo's going to the inn. Yeah, that's good. That sets your bind point. That no, wasn't the inn, it's something on the other side. Oh, the inn? You passed it up, I think? No, 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 no. 
I'm 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 just lost. I don't know the town as well as you guys. I'm sorry about that. Oh no problem. Yeah, just pop the map. You'll get it. Now you're by the storage shed. Cross the bridge. If you've gone to the inn already. What uh? What left do you have? Oh, what quest? Yeah. What else you got, Zorgo? I'm I'm doing I'm running through all that that town stuff. I'm like just now hitting the trading post. I mean, I hit all this when Kra when Katz was doing it. I just didn't realize he was on a quest. <laughs> I thought he was just hitting all this stuff. So oh, I even though I'm not, I just go ahead and craft because you get experience. Yeah, William Russell. Um, you know, we'll still do EverQuest, like EQ2, EQ1. I'd like to get some stuff on the test server, but uh, I like this game, and it allows people to do things while other people aren't online. So they'll be able to progress and do their own thing. So I think it has the best of both worlds. So we're going to be doing this, uh, I hope, a lot. Okay, Zorgo's at the trading post. Yeah, buy stuff over there. I'm coming back to the town center. Hello there. I'm just grateful to know to Okay, you level seven. I hope you would if it's true that corruption is plenty, I'm sure. Except quest. And I got a duelist hat. It's a little better. And my gold is 95 gold. Hmm, I should buy something. Attribute points, you know where they're going. Into decks. That way, we got to get myself a new hatchet. Hmm, so I'm on preparing for siege is what I'm on right now. Oh, you're way ahead. Yes. Yeah. That's you... the uh, storyline quest. Let me check to see uh, where I am. Oh, this is 100. I don't have enough for this. I'll just wait a little bit. Boy, these guys are... Oh, Forsaken Hatchet. Oh, this is good. Let me buy a hatchet real quick, guys. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong thing. Yeah, definitely nice to have a new option. Okay, come on, hatchet. Do this without messing it up. There. Just enough to buy a hatchet. New hatchet. Look at the difference. So this is a good one. It has six strength, three dexterity. There we go. Those things I'll put back in the locker. So now I got a good hatchet and I got a good life staff. And I got to go down here. I got to visit the inn guy. Again. Welcome to the southern breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you up. Mm, there's somebody else there. We'd be happy to have you. It's talking to the wrong guy. Oh, that was much faster than I expected. Okay, reward flint logging axe. I have one already. And now they want me to visit the trading post. I guess I was a little premature there. Ah. Yes. Now I. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all of that stuff that you hit on the way into town, you're about to hit it again. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. And so, see, I got confused, but I thought, oh, he was getting these quest updates. No. I'm so behind. <laughs> I remember doing them, and I, I was like, oh, I, I did this before. 
Yeah, I was like, this is what you automatically do. And like last night, so I just started doing it. And now I was like, uh oh. I strongly suspect that it will have something to do with Okay, what did I get here? More junk. He's asked to see you. I would ask you to try to keep him in mind. And here's a tent, a quest. Talk to Mikolos again. And make sure you get territory standing. And standing gain is good crafting. Gathering speed will be good. Yeah, it's pretty quick to get up to level eight. Ah, there you are. And there we go. Flint mining pick. And the funny thing is I I made my own mining pick and he just gave me one for free. That's funny. And then they got to go out and gather stone. Uh, wolves, rawhide by skinning boars, and green widow. Put that in there, and this stuff here. The wood is this. There you go. I'm just outside chopping trees. Yeah, I'll do some tree chopping too. You know what's different this time? Is the big difference now is that before you could have the stuff in your shed and it would count towards your quest, but now you actually have to carry it around. Like rawhide and because you know I got all those rawhides and stuff. So you gotta actually carry it. No more leaving it in the chest. So that kind of sucks a little bit. But that's okay. I'll come meet you guys where you're at. I'll come back you up in case any trees attack you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's charcoal. Why did I do that? I made charcoal for no reason. They're going to make you do a campfire and all that stuff. Oh, and there's wolves, too. Yeah, they're all up here. I don't know if I'm on the wolf quest yet. I kind of am. Got it's from that guy, Prepare to Siege. Yeah, that's what it is. Let me go ahead. Yep, I'm on it. Let me skin this guy. And you're going to find a lot of corpses out here. You can skin all of them. That's the easy way to do it. Three of sixteen, yeah. Oh, I got fifteen of sixteen uh, hides just off one kill. Gather, gather wood from the trees. Oh, there's another hide over here. Nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and leech this hides. All right, fifteen of sixteen. Oh, Zergo, there's a wolf. There's two. Yeah. Oh yeah, watch out for wolf servicey. I'll be right there. Okay, done with that. I don't have any healing mods to heal Zorgo yet. Just use your uh, food or whatever. Oh, I got one on Sancho's. I'll rescue. Got to get that life staff up. Almost one or two more kills. Here's a bunny rabbit. Die. Got him. <laughs> First bunny rabbit. And actually, these are you have to skin these because later on they're hard to get the little bunny rabbit. Okay. You get to track them too after, uh, once your skinning gets up. 
Oh, that's nice. I'm going to beat on this tree here. Oh, yeah, gather green wood. Yeah, beat on some trees. Oh, got a woofy. All right, good. Life staff, too. Good. Time to get some skill in life staff. Definitely need this. Can heal the target with that. No one take mana. Oh, man. Jeez, I gotta take these here. This one's good to take. First one is Absolve. That's a good one to take. pants twenty three out of forty on trees Bushes are real fast to gather from. Don't forget the boulders. Oh yeah, and hemp right here. You gotta get the hemp hemp. Get some good uh, stuff you need for clothes. There you go. Get those fibers from the hemp. While you're at it, I gotta beat on some rocks. That's gonna take a while. Find a nice rock to beat on. See, this is what's nice. You get your group together and you can save Sancho's from being bitten. How are you doing, Zorgo, on your quest? Uh, 35 of 40. Uh, I got five boulders left. That's it. I'm yeah. Almost there. I just got to get five more there's, trees and some more boulders. Almost there. There's two boulders where I'm at, right next to each other. I'm I'm hitting I'm hitting one right now. Later on when you get better tools you can beat these uh trees down so much faster. Alright, yep, I'm ready to craft my timber and oh, cut you're good. my stone. Okay, go for it guys. I'm gonna beat on the boulders here till I get them. Okay, a 17 for that boulder. Working on some baby boulders. Uh oh, somebody's Sancho's being attacked. Oh, there we go. Yeah, people just laying their corpses around. Yeah, I know, because they're like, hey, we don't need any more of this. Yeah, this is like a... We'll take it. Yeah, if you want those corpses. Okay, uh, done. Got to craft timber. Got to craft stone blocks. So it's always good to get more boulders. One more boulder. Oh, he's beating on my rock. Zorgo went back to town. Oh, we got a rabbit. Die! Good, rabbit dead. Cool. All right, heading back to town with Sancho's. Look at all these bodies. Yeah, I know. Isn't it funny? You're the bone collector. 
That's I would nice. take the meat. Yeah, that, that meat. You're right. You can make some food out of that. You never know. Yeah, I'll go ahead and skin one too. Might as well get more food. Can't wait we, till we get to do fishing. Oh, I got a wolf. Yeah. Chest so I, I'm done with my craft coarse leather. I got to go back to the stone block and timber workshop. Stone blocks. All right, more experience and timber. Let's make some timber. Okay, got to talk to Mikolos. And where is he? He's over there. Okay, I'm done crafting my stuff. I'm going to Mikolos now. Now then, we're starting to really stock up. Ooh, leveled up. From now on, we'll be hard hurt. Talk to Sanders. He'll be Be you right back. All right. He's not already hard at work, I'm sure. A ground shield. Hello there. You must be this new hero Doughty's been taught to me close me. Yes, he says it quite frequently. Apparently oblivious to the fact that I always keep the fire going. Ooh, got a satchel. Ore and leather. Wow.
I should hope I'll see you around the fort. Oh, you're the kind of keep me from freezing. You're starving to death out in the wilds. Eh, being alive and frozen solid is just so dull. Uh-oh. Look, with all the... And then you'll really be in the thick of it. I mean, maybe you get a little chilly. Maybe not. I will find out. How about you head out there and make sure you can do some hunting? Okay, I gotta take a quick AFK. I'm up to the part yet where we have to travel the dank for hollow survival tips. Yep, I'm on that same one too. We'll wait for you. Oh, oh where are you hit? Are you already headed that way? Nope, I'm in town. Uh, I'll wait for you. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Ah, I'm back. All right. I'm on the thing called survival tips. Uh, Zorgo's taking a break. He'll be right back. All righty. So mine is make a camp. fishing pole. And uh, William Russell, you got beta already? That's very, very fast. And we are from uh, Zorgo's in Texas, El Nino's in Hawaii, and I'm in San Francisco. Shoot, I gotta get green wood. All right, I'm back. Okay, I'm just making my campfire out here, and uh, then I'll head over there. You got to get some green wood and flint uh, to make the campfire, and then you got to travel to Dankford, but you can come out the south end of the town. All right, welcome back, Likely Salted, and thanks for joining us. So, yeah, you just make your campfire. You need some green wood and flint. And they're easy to gather. Yeah, it's like 39 gigs, uh, Russell. William Russell. So from here, we got to go to Dank for Hollow, which is to the south. Oh. 
or survival tips yeah yes definitely nice to meet you okay I'm gonna meet up with you guys over there I'm coming Oh good, somebody's working on the campfire. Sanchez got campfire. Yeah. Oh, there's a wolf here. Don't need a wolf. Some guy named Gary Potato. Okay, we're gonna head up there, Zorgo. Let's it should be right around here. We go up and to the left a little. It changes every time. Ooh, there's some hemp. All right, Rags got his epic tonight. Congratulations. I always get hemp, guys. Hemp is definitely something you're going to need later. Always find a hemp and then, well, you see these other guys. They got the hemp first. Let's go this way. If you see anybody fighting stuff, oh. we'll wait for you, El Nino. Yeah, where are you guys at? Oh, I see you. I'm on my yep. Guys killing wolves? No, we're gonna go to Dank for Hollow. Oh, there you go, Sanchez. Okay, it's over here. Oh, there's a wolf. I just pooping. passed you. There's a wolf taking a poop here. Okay, gotta increase that staff. I think it's up here. Okay, I think this is Dank for Hollow. Oh, there's one of those crawly dudes with a skull right. on it running uh -oh. away. Uh -oh. Now wait in here. Come on, I guess we got to go up here. Oh, no, we got to go back to uh, Inkwell Cave. Well, check this place out. There's some stuff in here. If you come up here, inside here. There's some chests here. I got some stuff. And this one here. Big chest back here. Ooh, a big silver nugget. A book to read for experience. Uh, come on down here. All right, you guys, you got it. That's good. And you got the book and all that. That's good. Okay, let's head out. We got to go to the other cave. And you go this way. There's a wolfie. Okay. 
Okay, a few more kills and I'll level this up. Alright, life staff three. Now I get sacred ground. Cool. Okay, here we go. Let me get sacred ground loaded. Next skill you want to get is this one called sacred ground. And that way you can keep this staff and you can go like that. Hit Q and you can heal whoever's in the thing. So come on in, stand in the aura. And it'll heal you now. So when you get to life staff level 3, you can do that. And the next one you'd get after that is you can get some, let's see, which one is it? You would get this one here. Um, you increase your mana regen in this here. When you get this one, you need two more points, you get to this. Once you get to bless, you're all set. And, uh, yep, got one more level to go. And there's a bad. And a bag had a mana potion in it. Okay, so let me heal Sancho. Press Q and then heal the aura. There we go, he'll heal up. And you'll notice that he should have a buff on him. He has fortify because my staff has fortify. There's a silver vein over here. Let's see if we can get it. Nope, we need 10 to mining seal. Okay, let's go this way, guys. We got to go to inkwell cave which is go kind of back towards the town all right moving back up all right sancho's rock killer there we go and let's head back to town. We're going to go to Inkwell. Here's some cool plants. But I don't think we have the no, level 30 required. Oh, let's kill this guy. Got him. Oh, I took it. It's okay. People don't mind if you kill, steal their stuff. They just help you. We're just helping each other. <laughs> that, that guy's running away. He was just chasing somebody. Okay, let's head back to the town. There we go. Help that person out. Now we got to get Inkwell Cave. Let's go up here. Wow, look at all these campfires. And Inkwell Cave is this way. Yep, that's right, William. The bow, the musket, we're all weak. And it just came down to life staff and hatchet or a great sword or a war hammer. Yeah, the bow would have been cool. I thought the musket is a cool idea too. I love fishing in this game. Oh, it's a turkey there. I love the quests that kill turkeys. All right, hang it right. Yep, I'm going to go up this hill. Looks like a banana plant here. Ooh, fronded petal cap. Let me see what that gives. And I'll be right with you guys. There you go, petal cap and shroom shroom. I gotta get Zorgo a heal when I catch up to him. Now up here you're gonna be hunting wolves like that. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Ooh, Sorcerer's Gauntlets were in the sack here. 
Now what you got to do up here is you got to kill these wolves. They usually spawn right about here. Here's one. I'm going to chew on Sancho's. There we go. Got another one. And there's a wolf up there. All right. And then you got to collect the corpse. Got to skin it. Yeah, the fishing it last night. First try on fishing, I got a treasure chest. Okay, that's two out of five. You got one. There's some more corpses down here. You can, I think all you got to do is pick up the corpses. The Thank sharp you. wolf fangs, I think. Yeah, kind of, here comes Wolfie. He's going to chew on me. Come on, let me, oh, he's not going to let me finish my carb. Chewing weight, yeah. Grab some corpses. I got three out of five. Oh, this guy's not gonna let me do my thing. This is the the, the spot, guys. Go ahead, you get that one. I get my finish up on my corpse. And I'll drop a heal. Okay, here. You get him from killing him. The bag drops. Oh yeah, I I see. I thought I could loot somebody else's. Okay, four to five wolf fangs. Oh, you're there getting you credit should be the, the last ones one. I'm picking up then. Oh, I said I'm robbing yours. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go ahead and we got to kill cool. some. Oh, kill this one over here. He's to the north, facing north. Did you guys get credit for that one? Uh, here, let, no, we may... here, you got this one, Zorgo. How about now? No, we got, you actually got to loot it. Uh -oh. That's okay, we'll kill him. All right, let's look for some more. So actually, you got to kill them, so you can't. I'm a corpse robber. Oh, I'm not sure that you... I, I thought you were getting credit There's another for the one I looted. Here he comes. He's on me here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I'll kill him. Oh, I, I had one down there. Oh, okay. Okay, do you see a bag somewhere? Yeah. Yep, I got all mine. Okay, great. Now I just gotta get one more here. Here, I got it. Okay, I'm all right done. Right up here. Okay, oh, we're going okay. up there. You need more? No, I was uh, going for yours, but we're good. Okay, let's go back. And back we go. Wait, you guys got quest in the cave? I got uh, explorers needed and hunt grizzly bear. Oh, you do? Oh, you're doing the um, town quests. Yeah. So it's oh, wow. Here. Uh, that was a smart idea. Okay, yeah, I should have had one. Let me check. Let How do you check. pull those up? Press J. J? Huh, I guess I don't. Let me check my map. It probably gave me... Oh, yeah, there's ones right around here. I see. I got to go up where Sancho's is. Let's go this way, Zorgo. Come on up here. Looking up Sancho. Oh, hold on, I'm looking at my quest too. Okay. I'll come up to you, Sancho. I'll help you out. All right, I'll wait for you, Jack. Oh. Okay, using my hatchet on him. Okay, let's go over to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll come over here. Let me pop a heal. Oh, yeah. Treasure chest time. Gold nugget time. Yes. Then we got to kill some stuff up here. I think I have this quest, too. Oh, yeah. Just gotta wait for the grizzly bear, I think. Yeah, I gotta wait for Bear Bear to show up. He's pretty fierce. Oh, I think he's on the other side. I think we're oh, good. Okay. Uh, you stand out by the door here. Can't see anything on your map? Uh, let me see. 
Uh, actually, I think we're done here. I've got something for. Uh, oh, hmm. I don't know if I'm looking at the right thing. Yeah, let me check Jay here. I should pin all of these. Uh, no. Uh, should show them all. Should show them all on the map. Oh, it does show them on the map. Okay, so yeah, I'm done up here. So then it's just go back to the uh, town. Two quests to turn in. How about you guys? Yes, sir. All right, let's go back to the town. Uh, follow Sancho's. Oh, we got another one. Hatchet, yes. Level three on the hatchet. Oh yeah, let's kill some more wolves. You running hatchet too, uh, Sancho's? Or you got uh, just the sword, sword and board. Oh wow, sword's pretty good. Actually, I should be. Uh, leveling up the light staff because that's more helpful later on we'll need that when we start taking corruption portals and all yeah I'm using the rapier and I like it yeah life staff 4 okay good when I get back to town I'll put in the life staff 4 I'll show you what I'll go for and it'll make this thing heal real nice Nice. Kill as we go. Three points to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got it. Yeah, we all need some sausage. Oh, he didn't give me much points. I'm going to leave him alone from now on. He gave real low points. Okay, Sancho's going that way. Yeah, make sure to hit that auto run button. This is where the PvP guys hang out, right in front. Time to do some turn-ins and level up. Like All right, done. All right. Uh, well. And another quest. So he gave me a war hammer, which I don't need. I'm going to dispose of these. All right, thanks for joining us, William Russell. Okay, so it's a mana potion. And looks like I'm good. Okay, let's go ahead and pump this life staff the way you pump the life staff. And uh, what I would go for is go for this one here, regenerate stamina. And I have only one point. I thought I had another. I want to get this one here. And good old hatchet.
Oh, got the um, faction quest now. Oh, you're fast. I'll be right with you. I'm just getting my skills up here. Wow. Berserk we set, nice. settled on uh, Syndicate. Was that a good faction? I guess. They're all the same, I think. We can look at the map. We'll see who's winning and we'll join them. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> This is only till Sunday, right? Uh, yeah, maybe Saturday night's the last night. Yeah, it don't really matter. Yeah. Let's all take a different faction and fight each other. <laughs> yeah. But then we can't be in the same guild. That's true. For tomorrow. Yeah. Let's see what other quests we have here. I have one more quest to turn in somewhere. Oh, it's right over here. Okay, level nine. So no swimming. What's that? No swimming. Yeah, you just you just die if you try to swim. Let me know what faction you are. Yeah, what do you think? Let's see, I'm level 9. What? I don't know if I'm doing the faction quest yet, but... Well, it's up to you guys. I guess we can... Let me check the map. Oh, well, we're in the purple. We might as well go with Syndicate. It's This map looks like the last beta, where we started out purple and it was all good. Next thing, the whole map turned green. <laughs> Uh, up to you. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, let's go syndicate then. Mine as well. I, I wonder if it really matters. I'm going to just craft some stuff, get some experience and skill up. Made my linens from the hemp. All right, syndicate confirming. Okay. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, there's purple. a lot of purple here. You think you are the stuff of marauders? We are the strong. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Let me run around and talk to them. Glad to meet you. Hi. Spark is what gives you life. Yeah, that's good. Now we can do the daily quest yeah that'll be good we're going team purple let me go over this guy here hey, hey guys i think i'm gonna have to log off at this point i'm oh. starting to nod off here yeah but i'll be able to come on tomorrow and okay. have a fresh pot of the coffee on. yeah i i know sounds good. good i put you to sleep Consult with the magistrate. <laughs> no. It was it was my day, long day, but this I was understand. a lot of fun. It is. It's good to get together with everybody. Consult with yeah. the magistrate. It was great to get to play with you again, El Nino. That oh was, yeah. Uh, you too, man. It's been a long time. You should get uh, Red Dead Online and join us on that sometime. I think you'd dig it. I downloaded. I gave it a whirl. Yeah, no, 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 go, huh? Well, I didn't really get really into it, so. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think the best part of that is the uh, call to arms, where it's PVE. 
that's the best part of it. But of course, we're kind of weak compared to the other guys. Those guys that play, if you saw that last video we did, one guy was pretty much soloing the whole map. <laughs> But that was still good. Yeah, that was, it, it looked, that, yeah, that guy was inspiring to me. Yeah, he was just insane. And he was just uh, running around, dodging them, and just, oh my. But, you know, also I want to do Swap 4, if you guys have ever tried that. That one we can play over Hamachi, which is over local. Oh, network. yeah, that's right. Yeah, so those older games are kind of cool. We can do that. I like that game Rico that I was playing, but the problem with that is it's a little expensive. And the second thing is you got to, um, you know, there's not that many people playing. It. So it's it's not the, the same. And it, it, the game is a little short too. But it is a cool Hamachi game. is a fish. Yeah, but you know what it is? It really means is... Um, it's a way to, uh, it's like a voice over, I, uh, not a, a VPN software. Oh, where is this guy here? Oh, it's a bit bored. And so you play, that way you can play all of those old LAN games. Okay, complete. And you can play old local area network games, which is very cool. And so that's what I think is nice about it. Oh, wow, linens, I can make these. Energizing travel rations. I'll make all of those. So yeah, I mean the the SWAT I think will be good because that's a, a great game. I haven't played it before, but I know it's a tactical shooter. It's not like you know you have to keep running around. Everybody has to plan out. It's kind of like EverQuest, but with guns and modern. Anyway, all right, Zorgo, thanks for joining us. Yep, it was a lot of fun. And yes. I'll check out those other games and see you tomorrow. Alrighty, see you then. See ya. Oh, I gotta turn into some guy here. Where is this foo? He's moving around. Meet with each of the three facts. I sympathize with you. Okay, yeah, I gotta talk to this. I'm going to Syndicate Land. We'll have to add Zorgo later to the guild. Because he, he logged off, unfortunately. We have a guild? Uh, I'm gonna make a guild, yeah. Hold me in suspense no longer. Out with it. Okay, we're gonna go syndicate. Welcome okay. The kind we want to know why the dirt claw went your way. And pick up uh time talking to me. Retrieve whatever the dirt claws have been holding. That's right, Joshua Reed. We are uh, it's it's pretty good. The early game is pretty quick. Let me set up the company. Create the company. We're going to set it as spicy hot. Spicy nachos would be the. Oh, spicy nachos has been taken as a guild name. Wow. Really? <laughs> Free nachos is going to make it. Nachos. Yes, Joshua, they will be resetting it. So, yeah. She only put a few messages in there. Okay, so we got this. Yeah, they will be resetting it, but this is a good way to get used to the game and all that. Let me see if I can get this guy here. Inviting Sanchez to the guild. Yeah, when it goes live, Joshua, what we learned from this is that it's important to get a low lag server because Eldorado was just so heavily populated that the other night I went into it, it was just crashing. Whenever I go to the middle of the town, it frees up my computer. And then I had to wait in the, you know, the queue for 30 minutes, which was rough. So we're going to go for a low 
population server low lag because I think this game will be very popular. Treated fishing pole, gosh. Mmm, I want to get that fishing pole. Yeah, I'm trying to make some. I'm going to get some rawhide. Yeah, I think I might have rawhide. Yeah, I'm going to make a fishing pole because cause I need one. And good old fishing pole, go to here. I got a lot of raw, I got one rawhide actually. I got coarse leather. Ah, uh, you'll be good. Yeah, it just killed three boars. Oh wow, that's quick. All right, I got mushrooms and everything. Oh, I got to travel to the tomb. Oh my. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, did you you did that? You did you do that yet? No, no, I waited for you. Oh, okay. I want to get you some fishing here. Oh, these people. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's why I'm getting. Shoot! Did you see last night my first one? I got the hot spot. Like near us, we have that pond. What? Yeah, I got a treasure chest first time around. I'm going to go down and do the fishing quest. Yeah, there was a... Nice. Uh, the fishing quest was really good. And I got a treasure chest with all these crazy gems and stuff. And it came pretty quick. And then I got all sorts of good fish. It was one of the best quests that you can do. Yeah, I'm going to go to the pond and do that. Okay, I'm going to make a fishing pole. You need one? I just made one. I'm good. Cool. We find a pond. Oh, that's quite a drop here. Oh, there we go. That's how you save yourself. You just scrape the edge. Floating spine fish. This is new. Ooh, I got a purple floating spine fish. What is that? Uh -huh. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It is a epic. Can you believe this, guys? Epic. Look at this. It is uh, water reagents, tier 5 protective reagents. Oh, my gosh. It's a tier 5 uh, spine fish. So they made these things drop a lot easier than before. In the old days, it wouldn't just drop right out here, but just close to the town, this just dropped. Be right back. All right. Here's a fishing pole. Let's go find the good fishing spot. Oh, there's more hemp over there. Always get your hemp. Big old hemp plant over there. More PVPers beating on each other's head. Wow, it took a while. Okay, if you get a fishing pole, you can just complete the quest real easy just by talking to the guy. I gotta catch three fish. Where's the hot spot?
Oh boy, almost. Come on, hot spot. Well, Sancho's no hot spot on the water yet, but when one pops up, I'll let you know. Alrighty. There, get you healed up. All right, I'll just wait over here. You'll see it. There'll be like fish jumping out of it, but until then, you just got to fish the good old way. Okay, I got an anchor. Wow, 55 pounds. Can you believe that? I just picked up a giant metal anchor. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, salvage it to iron. There, I got some more iron ore. That was crazy. Well, I really want the hot spot to pop up. It's so much more efficient. Come on, hot spot, where are you? Gather bushes to collect bait? Oh, you need bait. Can you do that one? Yeah, I just go and collect some bushes around here. I already collected it. I actually mm -hmm. pre-collected it. Okay, got one fishy. Okay, yeah, I got a deep spot. Yeah, they're just around the edge there. Thank you. 
Okay, my second fish. Oh, it looks like I'm done. Now the problem with this fish guy. Where is the fish dude? The fish dude is way out by Everfall. Make a huge run out. There. Oh, El Nino fish uh, uh, hotspot just showed up right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, landed in the hotspot. I got it. Still trying to figure out this bait thing. I'll get you some bait. Okay, large bass. Okay, so let's see where you're at. Um, you might have to go up the hill and go for some bushes. What okay. What do you need to get? Wood louse bait. Oh. Um, you got it? No, I got him. Oh, yeah, that's a different one. Okay, another perch. Let me change the fishing bait. I'm going to go with a better bait. All right, landed in hot spot. I got something big here. Medium catfish, wow. 14 pound medium catfish was very hard to pull in. Wow. Oh my gosh. Big. They made it harder for to pull some of them in. The, the hot spot's still here. So wow, let me go ahead and salvage this stuff. Okay, what did I get here? Got seven oils and fish fillets. Okay, we're getting there. And yeah, come over to, oh, to where I am. If you are you fishing, like if you land it right in this, whoops, in this spot, like stand where I am, and it just barely, yeah, barely put it, tap it. You have to land it in that bubbly area. So barely send it out. Oh, tadpole! I got one. That's part of the quest. I see a bubbly area. Oh, you know, it's it's. Uh, let me stand in front of it. It's right here, like right where I am, right there. Nah. Really? Oh no! It's only Maybe for it's me. Maybe just for you. Yeah, oh shoot, then that's that's just for me then. Uh oh. Let 
Yeah, you'll see one pop up for you. A medium catfish. Oh, good. That's weird. It didn't, it's only one person. Small catfish. I got a big one again. Large salmon. And a small bass. Okay. Got tadpole. Oh, good. If you got the tadpole quest, I got one of those too. And once, if you get the hot spot, you're in business. Oh, I see one now. There you go. Just landed inside there. Ooh, I got a treasure chest. Oh my gosh. Holy nice. smoke. Oh my gosh. Another treasure chest. Whoa. It's a rare treasure chest. It's opened up, guys. Let's see what we get. Ooh, eight gold, one ruby, one flawed carnelian, 34.82 gold coins. Wow. Score. I know. Wow, wow, wow. You could just level up by doing this. You have the same spot that I do then. Huh, where did my hot spot go? Hey, no more hot spot. Let me change the bait. Oh, I have to make sure you're using the right bait. <laughs> but I, anyway. It's weird, I see the hot spot, but it's worn out, not working. 
Mm. You get anything good over there? <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Gee, I'm landing it right in that thing and nothing. It's not saying hot spot. Oh well. Got a blue fish. Oh, that's very good. Oh, I just got medium pike. Is there say when you landed near? Does it say hot spot? Landed in hot spot or something? Not that I noticed. Oh, you need that. Yeah. Yeah, mine doesn't say that anymore after I won the treasure chest. Anyway, this is good to get those quests done, like the fish fillet ones. Yeah. Those tadpoles are rare. Almost there. Got 12 oils and such. Oh, small pike. All right. Well, you know, let me go ahead and um, the place we got to turn this into is quite far away. Uh, let's see. What do I have? 13 fish oils, fish fillets. We do have a ways to go. Let's see. What else do we have? I have some other faction ones. Uh... Fish, 15 fish fillets. Don't I have that? I do. I have 15 fish fillets. Dang. 90 linens is what I need in one quest. I know. Well, yeah. Oh, it says what? Broad fishing hot spot. Yep, you should have hot spots. Look around here for fish jumping out of the water. 
it should be nearby or the the you know it looks like a you know what it looks like do you see it is it over there i just see the same thing that we're fishing in oh weird i guess there's so many people here they're stealing our fish <laughs> yeah well We do have some, I do have some faction ones over in Greenville. Search a place for a chest. Do you have those ones over in Green, Grenville? Mm, let me check. Yeah. The only one I have is uh, the Syndicate Initiation, the Kanan's Tomb. Oh, okay, because I got some uh, faction quests. And they gave me one that's pretty close. It's over in, what is this place here? Nearby us and then also in Grenville, which is close. Got one like right to the north, Kanan's tomb. Oh yeah, that one I have. That's another one, but I have some blue ones. Uh, they're the I don't know if you got those. I got blue ones. It says level thirteen though. Really? Oh. Moe's farm is that the one? Uh, uh, mine is um. Explorers needed. It's called level nine. Mm, Cooper's ranch. Uh. Yeah, Cooper's Ranch is one of them. Yeah, I got that. Let's do that. Okay, where's Cooper's Ranch? Let me see. Let me put it up there. It's like, take a left, it's right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Close. Okay, let's go do Cooper's Ranch real quick. Yep. Oh, wow. Nice. Cool. Okay, so let me pin these uh, quests so I can see them better. Search okay. for chess. Yeah, the good old search for chess thingy. Oops, I'm still fishing. Oh, we got him. Oh, there's a bag. Got some pants. Oh, chest, chest in there. Okay, good. Lacing, that's part of uh, the quest. Oh yeah, more chest. I like it when the other guys clear everything out. We just walk in and pick up the chest. Ooh, got some good <laughs> stuff. Yeah, let them do the dirty work. Ooh, got a lot of green items too. And lacing. Really? Nice. Yeah, got some good stuff in there. Okay, I'll go outside. Oh, here's a bad guy. Was that it? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. I think. No, I got to get two more. All right. So yeah, it's probably somewhere around here. Let's check the shed. Yeah. There's a bad guy. Boy, this is leveling up the life staff so slow. I gotta have better targets. Switching to whack whack. Oh, there's one over there, yep. And some pamphlets to read. Nice. More pamphlets. And one back over here, I think, over the chat, the box. Yeah. And one over here. Level up by reading.
Yeah. Increase your reading skill. Here's a, a pig. Ooh. Some dudes up here. Okay, coming up there. Got a chest. Yep, we got a chest and a bag. Oh yeah. Okay, got. I think I need one more. Yeah, two hatchets are better than one. I better get you a heal. There you go. That'll heal you up. Sure, eat some meat. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, here's one right over here. It's right over in this cart here. Got that. Oh, these are level 10. Nice. Got to be one in the house. Yeah, or in the yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Got it. Ooh, void metal. Got some good rewards. Some good wow. Some drops. It's a blue void metal. Okay, let's see here. Let me check, see where I am on it. Okay, done with that. Next one is, well, the other ones are just like collect linen, hunt stuff. Merrill's Place, Merrill's Place. And Merrill's Place is uh, kind of the south of Greenville. Where's the next one you got to go to? Uh, just a tomb. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let me check my quest log. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Yep, all right, let's head to the tomb. I'll follow you. And we'll do the tomb and we'll wind it up at the tomb. All right, kind of cool. We're level 10. Oh, here's a bad guy. Oh yeah, that was nice. This is not a sheep, this is a pig. 20 sheep, I don't know where I'm going to find it, but I think when I find them, they're all going to be in one spot. <laughs> yeah. They better be. I know. Everybody's getting corn dogs here. right through here yeah <laughs> turkeys
All right, we're in the tomb. Let's see, what do we do now? Oh, we got to kill these guys, get ancient crystals. I remember this. Oh, there's some stuff on the desk here. There's one down here. change some of my things so they don't all show up Okay, so we need to get a few more shards. Almost there. Okay, and one more divining stone. I think it's over here. Yep, we got it. Cool. Now we got to just go back to, looks like we just got to go back to town. Oh, cool. I wonder if we can return to town like that. I think we can. Uh, oh, I don't have the... Recall the inn? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's hit recall the inn. Let's hope this guy doesn't jump us. Doing recall the inn. good run it's going to be fun when the game comes out because we'll get to play it higher than what level 30 is what we made it to last time which would be pretty cool yeah okay let's do our quick turn-ins oh he's over there all right, now we can get the faction quest. Yeah. Or did you already have? Uh, yeah, I don't think I got it yet. Let me go get it real quick. Let me just do the outfitting and all that. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Got to go turn this quest in. Not yet, but in time. 
Cool, we finished the quest. Almost level 11, nice. Yeah, now we can get the faction cool. quest. I uh, can take all the PvP, PvE ones. Alright, green bill hunt. Oh wow, plenty of stuff. Cool, very, very cool. Let's see what arcane I can do. Oh, I can make weak health potions. Oh, that'll be nice. And uh, I wonder if we can buy stuff from him. Cast eyes upon you again, friend. Have you returned for more adventure? Oh, we don't have enough to buy stuff yet. No, not yet. All right, El Nino. Good run tonight. Uh, I'm almost level 11. How about you? Sweet. Uh, I hit 11, yeah. Sweet. All right. Sounds good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's uh, have a nice run tomorrow at this. We'll get uh, Zorgo back. Sounds like a plan. Okay, see you all tomorrow.